Bummed understates how we felt when McLaren ended production of the 710 HP 720 seconds at the end of 2022. Alas, if not to win our hearts all over again, it's mostly back. Reincarnated as a lighter and restyled 740 HP version called 750 seconds. It is offered in both coupe and spider body styles, and burning premium behind the seats is a familiar twin turbo 4.0 liter V8 and 7 speed dual clutch transmission. McLaren essentially put the 720s through mechanical engineering weight loss surgery to build an even quicker car. The center exit exhaust is lighter, the lightweight wheels reduce rotational mass, and even the pistons, borrowed from the 755 HP 765 LT encourage quicker reaction time when you put your foot down. While the mid-engine 750 seconds might not be an all-new internet-breaking McLaren, we like to think of it as an already impressive supercar ready for spring break after doing 5-minute AB workouts all winter. The 750's interior might be the simplest part of this complex rolling sculpture. Inside, Alcantara is standard with the option of a performance interior that adds Napa leather or a Teclix package that puts leather at higher priority and quantity in the cockpit. McLaren keeps the majority of its interior dark, but allows its customers to choose the color of its stitching for an additional cost. Unlike many cars today, the 750S's steering wheel is free of buttons. Mode selection and other driving controls are saved for the driver-facing central dashboard area, Due to space reserved for the power folding roof, the Spider has less rear cargo space than the coupe. But both versions have a frunk that's a little less than half the size of the Corvette space. The McLaren 750 seconds look similar to the discontinued 720 seconds because it is. It uses a similar powertrain but this time has even more power. McLaren has gone to great lengths to lower the slithery two-seater's weight to produce an extra sensational supercar. The price of the 2020 for McLaren 750 seconds starts at $308,195 and goes up to $324,195 depending on the trim and options. It's simply impossible to spec the 750s incorrectly. We should point out that if 750 seconds buyers pay enough for each carbon fiber and lightweight option, the coupe does end up a manufacturer claimed 108 pounds lighter than the Spider. Though, we'd like to think being seen in the 750s outweighs all else. Aft of the 750S's cabin lives a 740 horsepower twin turbo V8 engine that's not shy about applying its 590 pound feet of torque to the rear wheels. A 7 speed dual clutch handles gear shifts. After sampling the 750's coupe for ourselves, which included some breathtaking track time at Circa 2 do a storal in Portugal, we estimate it can hit 60 miles per hour in as little as 2.5 seconds. We're looking forward to confirming that with our own testing, but that would make it slightly quicker than Thetis continued 720 seconds we previously tested. Beyond its raw power, the 750's dons a set of lightweight wheels, the lightest ever fitted standard according to McLaren, and aggressive aero bits that give it more downforce than the 720s. McLaren's latest iteration of their hydraulic suspension has lightweight springs and dampers that promise to give the driver more feedback when it comes to carving canyon roads. Borrowing sensibilities from the million-dollar Senna, the 750s slows down with an available ceramic rotor and monoblockoliper track brake package. When it comes to navigating life speed bumps and bumper scraping parking lot entrances, the 750s will quickly raise its nose with the click of a button. Pirelli P0 summer tires are standard equipment, and P0 Casa and track-focused P0 Trofeo are rubber are optional. The 750s fitment is staggered, with 19-inch wheels up front and 20-inch wheels for the rear. The EPA has rated the 750s for 15 MPG City and 19 MPG Highway. When we get a chance, we'll take the 750s on our 75 MPH Highway fuel economy route and update this story with its real-world MPG.
The 7.0-inch vertical infotainment screen is home to most controls such as climate, Apple CarPlay, and an ambient lighting configurator. Android Auto is not offered. A 360-degree rearview camera is standard and has a higher resolution than what was used in the 720s for increased clarity. A Bowers and Wilkins audio system complete with an amplifier and McLaren's continuum cone speakers handle music should you for some reason want to drown out the P1-inspired exhaust note. In place of traditional driver assistance technology, McLaren serves up useful options that are meant to keep the six-figure supercar scratch-free. For more information about the 750's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS websites. Key safety features include Available front and rear parking sensors Available front and lift system Available 360 degree camera McLaren protects the 750s with the standard limited and powertrain warranty that spans three years with no mileage limit. The company also provides extended coverage for extra coin that lasts up to 12 years with a cap of 12,000 miles per year. Limited warranty covers three years and unlimited miles. Powertrain warranty covers three years and unlimited miles. Complementary maintenance is covered for three years.